welcome to my channel Josie here and this is it is Josie and this is week four me made May and uh, if you're wondering what me made May is it's about making a commitment to challenge the sewing community even a month for knit or crochet where you take a challenge and aim at wearing clothes that you've made or you make a different challenge for yourself probably to focus on creating those items or wearing items that you think you've not worn a fair long time. There are many people, are, many people are having various takes on Me Made Me, but my take has been to wear clothes that I've made, mostly to identify gaps in my wardrobe and also to identify garments that don't work for me that probably I could switch up and get rid of or give away or never to make again or and also to identify the gaps in my wardrobe of items that probably i could consider making more of and so this is a roundup of week four i'll add in the cards or the other videos of week one week two and week three and this is pretty much like the last complete week however we know that may will go on for like three extra days i'll record a video with those extra three days and also my take and my conclusion for me made me and lessons i've learned and what probably doesn't work for me and today is day 22 of me made me and i'm wearing the freya dress by tilly and the buttons and this came in a book stretch the stretch book i own that book but i lent it to someone who never returned it but yeah i made this then when i still owned the book and i went with the cowl neck version and this has come in handy. These are clothes I rarely pick up to wear in the spring, but this spring is like no other. So it's been a bit cold and I've struggled actually to wear my springy mix, summer remix because it's not been as warm. So today was a bit chilly and I was stepping out. So I've worn the till and the buttons for a dress. And this particular pattern can be made as a turtleneck blouse or as a dress. And I went with the cowl neck and used this French terry which I bought from Girl Charlie before they left the UK. And I remember, I think I, with Tilly and the buttons, I used to make size 2 at the bust. Then at the waist, which I blended into size 3 at the hips. And yeah, this is what it looks like today. And I'll show you tomorrow what I'll be wearing. I'm going to show you a clip of what it looks like on me if you're interested to know all about it. And I like that the cowl is big enough keeps you really warm around the neck so I didn't have to wear a scarf or anything else. Okay, see you tomorrow. Welcome to day 23 of Me Made May and I've been to church today and I'm recording this video quite later in the day because this is a new make of mine and this fabric was given to me by Minova and I made two matching dresses exactly the same with my daughter and I used the Little Lizard Galena dress. It's a pattern that has just been released this year and the secret is that it's a free pattern. And that was generous of them because this is a beautiful pattern and it comes in the girls version and in the adults version and it's meant for jersey fabrics and it's your go-to if you want to have a go you've sewn a few jersey items and you're a beginner but a confident one you can sew up this dress because it features puffy short sleeves with a band and now i like the band effect because the band omits the need to hem it you know how hemming Jazzy fabrics can be a nightmare. However, I'm fortunate to own a cover stitch machine which I use for hemming, but prior to that, I used to use double hem, a double needle, which is and not the easiest to work with if you want to avoid that tunneling that it causes. So it has a bind, a band which you fit onto this onto the puffy sleeve after gathering it up, and it had to set in also the sleeves here. This is a beautiful feature I love about this pattern, the dipped neckline at the front. However, the back is the ordinary neckline, 
but I like this deep feature. It also features big bishop long sleeves. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough fabric for that. I would have loved to make that because I wanted to make two items for both of us, my daughter and I. So I went for short sleeves for both of us. And it's a rounded, a full circle, full circle skirt. I could say half circle skirt in fullness, which I cut on fold. It has no gathering at the waistline. It's just fitted exactly onto the top. Yes, I didn't pattern much, which is a shame because I always pay attention to that, that when I'm cutting them, I line the patterns together, but it's not a big deal. It won't make me not enjoy my dress. However, this dress comes off a bit short. I decided to lengthen my by three inches because from the images I saw on the website, most of the dresses were high up from the knee so i decided to lengthen mine by three inches and i'm glad i did that because it comes off at my knee in in hindsight i should have lengthened my daughter's too i didn't pay attention to that because she will outgrow it very fast but the beauty with kids clothes they can always wear them with pair of leggings so that story is perfect with the british weather even with a well-fitted dress you always pull on leggings for kids I love this dress and I would encourage you to pick up this pattern if this is something you love. I like the fit, it's actually a fitted dress. I didn't have to do any fittings because what any alterations because what I actually did after sewing the bodice, I tried it on to see whether it comes at my natural waistline. I needed to take out a bit more to shorten it for a sway back adjustment, but that I didn't need to do because it was high up on the high waistline. And also it comes in a dress, in a top version. You can sew up either with the short sleeves or long sleeves. And then short is cut as a peplum. It's also joined onto the bodies. And then like the skirt comes off a bit short. What would be like the skirt? So you cut it off to how? Just a peplum dress and peplum top with either the bar. I love the bishop sleeves. They're not bishop sleeves, but they are big puffy sleeves and they are long sleeves. So they look amazing if you've got enough fabric from on you and I use this is a gorgeous art gallery fabric which was kindly given to me by Minova because I'm an ambassador with them to review and I'll attach links to the to this pattern and also to the fabric if you're interested and I hope this is a pattern you'll pick up because you go to the little lizard website I'll add everything in the description box below and maybe something else I cut up size eight, two which was recommended for my size measurements and it was true to size. So the only change I made was lengthening the dress by three inches and I'm glad I did because if you don't want your dress so short, you could consider that because you look at the finish measurement of the dress, get the same measurements on your body and then you see how much more you would want to add on to make the right fitting you're happy with. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Welcome to me made May the 24th, that's May the 24th and the month is going by so fast and today I'm wearing one of my lovely dresses. This is the Diando Myosotis dress, this is the second version I made and this doesn't look like what the pattern was meant to be, I hacked it to be a midi dress. This pattern comes in two versions, I ended up making version A which comes with a, a ruffle. So I used the ruffle piece, however, I didn't use the skirt piece of version A, I used the skirt piece of version B, which is not made to come with a ruffle. And to it, I added two inches to lengthen it. So if that makes sense, I used the skirt piece of version B, which I'd lengthened by two inches, then I added the ruffle from version A. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> so I ended up getting a midi dress and I actually love the length and I used the Lady McElroy cotton lawn fabric which was gifted to me by Minova and you can find a blog post about this dress on my Minova profile I'll 
profile or page i'll add the link in the description box below if you want to read about it and this is a gorgeous fabric it's a cotton lawn it's quite lightweight and it's really beautiful and it's good quality i could say and that's it actually this pattern also doesn't come with ties i hacked it and added ties because without ties you no know, these shapes don't flatter me free shapes so i knew it wouldn't flatter me at all it's quite roomy so i decided to add ties to it so i get a better fit out of it i'm going to attach an image of me in it and also a clip of me in it and just like you might have seen if you've been following my me made may videos you might have seen my version that i made with just we without the ruffle and the ties still because this is what seems to flatter me i prefer the ties on the cinch in the waist but you'll see what it looks like in the image other otherwise the pattern is not made to come with ties but i hacked it to that so this is my midi my sorties dress i actually love wearing it the weather is not warm yet but i'm presuming with a midi dress and probably knee length boots not knee length i wear probably just boots that come up to the cuff it will give me a nice look i'm happy about and i'll layer probably with a denim jacket yeah that's what i'm wearing today oh and i've forgotten i actually made size 36 throughout the bus waist and bodies i should have made size 38 and at the waist and the hips and 36 at the bus but i decided to cut 36 throughout because it's quite roomy and I thought that would be alright because it's meant to be a semi-fitted, not semi-fitted, a loose-fitting dress. So I went a size down which worked out perfectly well. So if you're just considering to make this dress and you're not sure whether to size down or size up, I sized down. So I went with just the body size. That's what I cut everything out in. Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hi, welcome to day 25 of me made may and i'm not going to lie the weather is depressing to say the least <laughs> and i decided to dress up like it's winter because that's what we have i feel like we're having a prolonged winter i've not experienced this for the few years i've lived in the uk but i would never imagined that i would be looking through my clothes i wear for winter in spring given yeah it doesn't shine as much here but i expected better than this so today I won't complain about the weather much, but today I'm wearing a skirt I always go for in winter. I layer it over tights and I also wear boots with it. And this is the Rosary skirt by Pauline Alice. It's a pattern I love to make and when I made it, I think about three years ago, I've not stopped wearing these skirts and when I made them, I made two of them. This is one of them. It's a button down skirt. It's meant to be an A-line and I made it out of a corduroy fabric. And it has a variety of pockets. This particular one has slash pockets, no front pockets. I don't know which kind of pockets this I would call. I don't know what I would call this kind of pockets. Then I made a version with zipped pockets. That's a different one. I've not worn much of because I'm used to wearing it in the winter under cardies and jumpers. And then I'm wearing my go-to t-shirt pattern. Unfortunately, I don't need to recommend this pattern because it's discontinued. It was the itch to stitch ideally wild top and dress pattern, which I hacked to have a slash neck. So I just altered the front neckline and slashed it and folded it down. I raised it up a bit, then created a slash. I know it didn't come out as much as I wanted it. Probably I should have extended it this far. But that doesn't bother me and I went with three quarter sleeves. Unfortunately, this pattern was discontinued, but it's something you can do with any t-shirt pattern that you own. And over it, I'm wearing my 
boyfriend cardi by love notion this is the second one i remember i showed you this either in week one and it's the same exact fabric oh i didn't tell you the t-shirt is a viscose jersey fabric and i made the second boyfriend cardi exactly like the one i showed you like two weeks ago in my me made may week one and i've used this fabric it's they call it sweater knit but it's fleece inside remember the one i showed you is made is in burnt orange color and this is red pink dark pink whatever you want to call it it's fleecy on the inside and it has a sweater knit texture on the outside and actually it's quite so cozy and warm this is what you need for the weather the boyfriend cardi is drafted it has it you can go with a hoodie option i don't want hoodies on my cardies and then this is the show collar it's quite thick enough and i like the fact that it gives enough coverage you can even Put a belt onto it if you just want to keep warm and also it has they added an additional thin thin collar with that you don't have this big wide collar because it also calls for more fabric but i prefer it this way because it gives me more coverage so this is a warm sweater and it has pockets yeah and i'm going to show you a cliff and an image of what it looks like but i have tights on and i'm going to wear my short boots and I think I might wear a winter coat because I need to step out and the weather is not showing like it's about to warm up if anything. The only change that might come up, it might rain shortly. Yeah, I'm going to show you a picture and a clip of what it looks like on me. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hi, welcome to me made may day 26 and i'm coming to you quite later in the day i've got to be i've had a busy start of the day which was actually busy and good started off with a rainy day yes i'm dressed like this it was rainy but trust me i had all the layers on i was meeting up with some girlfriends for breakfast it was at 10 i want, would have wanted it later but i had a meeting at one and i needed to attend so when i met up with them we went somewhere for breakfast we haven't been able to do this for over a year and it's just now that we can now meet inside restaurants it was rather not the best meeting outdoors like how you've had me moaning about the weather how it was actually cold so being cold we couldn't easily go out meet outdoors it was in a restaurant outdoors whatever you're taking if it's a cup of tea it would cool before you're ready to take it but today we managed to meet up with these girls we had a lovely time catching up and laughing which was brilliant and that was something I felt like I've missed out on and then I had a meeting later so right now I'm coming to you and the sun has dried up and the sun is out and it's quite getting warm it's getting warmer so I'd also plan to wear this dress and this particular one has a matching mask so it's the the whole ensemble that makes everything nice and I love this dress this is the style arc Ariana dress so if you're wondering what, who style arc are uh, it's a website yeah it's a pattern company it has both pdf and paper patterns however the paper the pdf patterns you can either buy them as multi-size patterns or a single size the beauty of the single size you just don't get that one size for just like a purchase size six from my recommendations i was meant to be a size six so that comes with a size four and a size eight so in other words when you buy a single size you get three sizes which gives room for blending into sizes because you can all agree really do you fit under that one size most times you have to move and this particular dress is a pattern down dress it has straps thin straps if you've cut if you've seen the jessica dress by mimi g patterns it's a free pattern and it's 
pretty much similar and most of the many patent companies have released such dresses so Varit has one i think fiber mode has one i already had the jessica pattern but before i could sew it i saw this the style arc one and they had a sale on their website said so go for this and the one thing why i went for this in as opposed to the jessica one this has some sharing in the back I believe this sharing helps with fitting. Should you put on a little weight, it gives more room and we go. It gives for expansion and room. The Mimi G one is exactly the same, but that panel which is shared is just one step on it, and we can all agree sometimes when you have to tighten a woven fabric that doesn't stretch all over you. Sometimes you feel like you're constricted, and also the fact that sometimes the buttons tend to end up gaping. It might not be as bad, but I wanted the dress fitted on the bodies. So I bought size 6, but I made a 12 for the size 6. However, it ended up being quite big. I had just an old t-shirt my husband doesn't wear much. I used it for a 12 to just cut out just the bodice piece. Because you can make it as just a bodice, button down top. Just short top, that's appropriate for younger girls. Or if you're a fancy person more than me, you could wear it. So I made that top and I realized actually size 6 was big for me, so I cut out size Four. and the other alteration I made I tried to widen the straps a bit I know mostly to give more coverage to my bra straps you will say it didn't do much but it did something compared to the sizing I had I'm, I increased them based on this particular bra that I'm wearing now because sometimes we can all agree you can't wear strapless bras on an everyday basis I leave that to parties when I have no choice so I widened them by a little bit. I don't remember the exact margin. And I also made a sway back adjustment. And this is a midi dress which comes up about at the cuff, really, what a midi dress should be. And I love this gorgeous fabric. This is a cotton poplin, which was gifted to me by Minova. In exchange for a blog post that was a while ago. And I wrote the blog post for their on my profile you can find it on my profile on minova i'll add the link to my profile minova profile if you want to follow me down the, over there and also to read about a few makes i've shown you during me made may that i made for minova and i went for actually these bright colored buttons they're matte and they'll pull out the little red that's within the design and I love this dress and it has a matching mask and i feel quite elegant in it and i know i would pay much more for it in the store uh, so the feature that I love about it is this shearing, which is flexible. And maybe one thing to tell you about the style arc patterns, you could try if you, you're going for the shearing. If you don't care for the shearing, the Bimichi pattern is a free one to try. If you want the shearing, so over it should have better instructions. And also fiber mode might do better, but style arc has no instructions. So you're sewing the dress using your experience and knowledge you've compiled over the time, over the years, unless you find a good tutorial on YouTube, which should have some, but this is the South Akariana dress. I'm going to share an image of me in this dress and also a clip of me in this dress. Okay, see you tomorrow. But I paired it with a denim jacket. I like such dresses that you can always do a lot with them. So I wear denim jacket when I was going out. I have tights on because it was cold and I wore some healed boots and it felt i felt really elegant in it okay see you tomorrow bye Welcome to me made May Day 27. The month is coming to an end and it's been an exciting experience. And today the sun is out. That's why I'm excited. <laughs> the sun is out and I'm going to wear this dress without tights. I'll probably ditch my denim jacket. I'll see about that because I don't like the cold. But the sun is out. The temperatures are better. And I'm wearing the By Hand London Hannah dress. 
Yeah, it's a wrap dress, fully wrap dress. It has ties on the side and also ties on the ins ties on the inside that hold the dress together. So you have to secure the ties. And I made it out of this vintage looking like Lady McElroy cotton lawn fabric, which I received from Minova earlier in the year in exchange for a blog post because I'm an ambassador of theirs. And I loved this fabric and I wanted to choose the perfect pattern for it. I looked around and I thought this would be the best one for it. And this is the By Hand London Hannah dress. I sewed up size six, which fitted perfectly well. And the only alteration, the only two alterations I made, I made a sway back adjustment. I've recorded a video on my channel of how I make a sway back adjustment. Then I also shortened the dress by five inches. It's meant to be a midi dress. I wanted it to come up to my knees. And I shortened it by five inches and I actually like the final look. And it has a fuller skirt, so I knew the fuller skirt then with the length it would have been so much going on. And I love that this is a lightweight fabric, so the gathers are not so much. So should you want to use a heavier fabric, I would advise that you reduce the amount of the skirt fabric. Probably you go to the middle fold and reduce the amount. And it features in seam pockets. So I love this dress. I'm going to show you a clip of me in it and a vid and an image like I usually do. And it also features petal sleeves and other options for sleeves, but I went with the petal sleeves because they are flattering. This is my happy summer dress and I'm glad it's out at least i get to wear it for the first time out and about which is exciting okay see you tomorrow i'll show you a clip and an image of it bye Hi, welcome to day 28, me made May, and today I'm wearing the Love Notions Game Day Jazzy pattern. And also this is the Friday feature of pattern for Love Notions. It's on sale for just today for five pounds. And actually this jazzy is meant to be made as a jazzy. If you're a sports fan, you can go ahead and sew one in your, in your club or team's colors. And it also comes in a men's version and the children's version. And the ladies one comes with a shirt and also a dress version. And I decided to make the shirt dress version. I'm not a sports fan. Yeah, I support a football team, but I never watch it. But so I won't lie to anyone that I'm a sports fan. Neither did I play any sport growing up. However, I encourage the kids to do it because my husband loves sports and he used to play some sports. So... The kids do it, but I don't tell them that I'm not a sports fan because they will be they won't be motivated to go ahead. So I decided to make a dress, a basic one, and I used the French terry fabric I picked up this weekend. It has stripes, and this I picked up from my local fabric shop in in Leeds. That's fabrics for all, and. I tried to pattern match. The color is ochre and sage. And I tried to pattern match actually. And that's a, that was a tricky, the only tricky thing with sewing this pattern because it comes together pretty fast. And because it has stripes, you'll be, you won't be happy with yourself if you don't do the matching game. So I tried to match them up here and also with the back seam. If you can tell, and I'm actually chapped about it. And I like that this pattern comes with the back seam. And if if at all you're wondering what that's for, it helps you cinch in, hold in the back. I mean, not hold in, take it in a little bit. So I did a little taking in because it was quite big at the back. I know it's supposed to be a semi-fitted pattern, so that back seam is so helpful with take it, taking it in. And also it features a yoke in the back. I tried to align the 
stripes that they match up nicely in the back. So it has a yoke in the back, then the bottom skirt piece has, has a seam. So and also the other features, you can either make it with a crew neck or go with a, a V overlap neckline. And actually there's a, the tutorial is very easy with constructing this. And I also made sure that when I was constructing the ribbing or the binding, I made sure it had just a stripe running over to just stand out as the ribbing. Actually, I like the construction process. It would have been much faster if I didn't complicate it with stripes and trying to pattern match it. I tried to see that I match up at least with one of these, one of the stripes here. Didn't do it so well this side. You can't match all the stripes. You can only get one to match up with the sleeve one. But I'm happy with the work I did <laughs> and with the pattern matching. And it's a knee length. It's supposed to be a knee length dress. But I know with Love Notions patterns, mostly I shorten the bodies. So I only shortened it by half an inch. So it comes at my knee and it also features splits on the sides. Just for an added detail. And yeah, just like I always try and aim to get these videos out by Friday so you can catch the sale of the feature Friday pattern. I'm not always able to do that because the whole editing process takes a bit longer than I might want, but I'll do my best to see if it can get up out. I can put it up early enough that if you're interested in purchasing this pattern or the ladies one, I mean, or the men's one or the children one, you could get a chance to do that. Otherwise, this is the last video of this week's Me Made May. That's week four of Me Made May. And I'll be coming to you in the middle of the week with the remaining three days of Me Made May and also my take. That final video will also have my reflection of Me Made May and what I probably hope to do differently with my handmade wardrobe and the clothes I've made and probably an evaluation of what works for me and what doesn't work and probably also what I might need to incorporate into my wardrobe. Thank you for sticking with me and for everybody who has watched my made videos i'll try to attach the playlist in the description box below if you just want to go back and watch others and thank you for the comments you've left many of you have said it has given you more inspiration with your sewing which is amazing and i'm happy to hear that and yeah that's it with me made me today let me know what you'd want to see in the final video really if there's anything else you'd want to hear about my me made me wardrobe my me made my clothes and wardrobe and lessons I've learned. Okay, see you. Please leave the comments in the description box below. I'll enjoy reading all of them. And if you watch this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, you could also go ahead and subscribe. And while at it, press the bell icon so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload new videos. Otherwise, I'm going to attach an image of me in this dress like as usual and also a clip to show you how it fits and what it looks like on me. And I've actually paired up this particular one with a denim jacket. When I'm stepping out, I'm stepping out now. Mr. has a day off, so he's taking me on a lunch date, hopefully. And I convinced him to take me out for a lunch date. So I'll be wearing a denim jacket because it's a bit of an overcast, but the temperatures are warmer than they've been. And also trainers. It's an easy weekend outfit because I watch no sports, but at least it's something I can put on over the weekend. It's just an easy dress. Okay. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. Bye.